Welcome back. Today we're going to be installing a dusk till dawn light sensor on this LED light for the front of my house. A lot of times when we go to work or when the guys go to work or if we leave early we leave the front light on just so it illuminates the front of the house but what happens is we forget to shut it off and when I bought this light it didn't have a sensor fixture so what I want to do is I want to show you guys instead of buying a whole new light <clears throat> how to buy this light sensor and install it. You could find the link to this sensor or something similar in the description below. It's pretty easy to install. I've never done this before, but I wanted to show you guys if I could do it, so can you. So all we have to do is customize a couple things um, and then install it. First things first, you're gonna need a couple tools. You're gonna need a screwdriver, an adjustable wrench, and the, one of the most important things when you're working with voltage in your house, a voltage detector. That way you don't get electrocuted. It happened to me before, so I had to buy one of these things. These things are a lifesaver. I'll also put a link to one of these in the description below. Uh, how these things work is you turn it on, you find the hot wire and you put it really close to the tip. If it doesn't go off and it doesn't make a noise, that means there is no electricity. So make sure that you buy one of these if you're working with voltage in your house because it is very, very important. All right, so first things first, you're gonna want to shut off the power to your house because you do not want to get electrocuted. A lot of the houses that are older are wired very differently, so instead of just shutting off one room or the front or the back, just shut the whole breaker. That way it helps you from getting electrocuted, which has happened to me in the past. So the next step is you take your light fixture off, unscrew the little bolt if it has one, whatever adjustment you need to make to take the light off. Then you make sure that when you're removing the light, you're very careful because it is wired and hopefully the power is off. But just in case power is not off, if there's a loose wire, you don't want nothing bad to happen. What you're gonna to wanna to do after that is make sure there is zero power coming to that wire because once again, you don't wanna get electrocuted. And then from there, it's pretty easy to take off. Black wire, white wire, the white wire is always neutral. The black wire is the loading wire. It's the one that holds all the energy. So after that, you're gonna to wanna to set everything down on a table and figure out how you're gonna customize yours because everybody's gonna be a little different. Also, you guys are gonna need a couple drill bits or at least I am. I need to customize this panel so I can put the wires through. Um, because the sensor is going to go on this which then has to attach behind here So if we drill a couple holes, we can go ahead and feed the wire through and hide it. All right, we have all the tools Let's get started Alright, let me explain to you guys how to wire this dust till dawn light sensor. So you guys know the white is neutral. So you connect the white wire to the white wire. You connect the black wire, which is the hot wire from the house, to this black one. And this red one goes to your connection, which is the LED light. So don't forget, you connect the white to the white, the black to the hot, and then the red to the light. If you try to wire it the other way around where you wire the hot to the red one and then this black one to the light, it's not gonna work. So you gotta make sure that you 
take that into consideration why they made these two black and white is because that's the way it gets wired and then this one goes to the light so I tried to install it the other way around and it didn't work and that's why I had to explain to you guys how to do it the right way. Um, just make sure that the power is off. That is very important. Okay, now we're gonna install it. This is where it gets tricky. First, you're gonna wanna put your ground wire back in. Make sure it's nice and tight. Then, you're gonna wanna put your wires through these new holes that we created white with the white <sighs> tighten this and tighten it Be good there. Make sure it's level. You wanna grab all the white wires, place them all together clockwise to make sure that you're threading all the wires and that they have a good hold, but also they're all connected very well. I'm gonna grab one of these, screw it on really tight, as tight as you can. You're gonna to wanna to grab the black and the house black wire, the hot one. This is the house wire, the black wire. These are hot, which connect up to the sensor. You can tighten these with your fingers and then go ahead, put the cap on, put it as tight as you can. And then the final one, the light, the light wire and the red wire get connected. Go ahead, tighten those up. If you can. All right, we're gonna go to the back. We're gonna turn the breaker on. After that, we're gonna flick the switch inside and make sure that the power's on. Then we're gonna cover our hand over the sensor to make sure that the light works. Cause you don't wanna install it all and then have to take it all apart. So we're gonna go ahead and do that and see what happens. Wow, it works perfect. I'm super hyped. I can't believe I did that, which means if I can do it, so can you. I'm gonna finish the install, and I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any other videos you want me to do on how-to that I can do around my house that I can show you guys, make sure you comment below. If not, I hope you guys enjoy. Till next time.